Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocket Now. The Samsung Focus was one of the first Windows Phone 7 devices, and it represented the platform very well. It was thin, it was light, it had a speedy CPU, it had a beautiful Super AMOLED display, it was based off of the Galaxy S at the time, and overall it really provided a fantastically fluid and smooth experience that helped people fall in love with Windows Phone. And so it's no wonder that Samsung is doing a successor to the Focus, the Focus 2. But this time, the Focus has LTE, a faster CPU, and a new design. In this video, we're going to unbox the Samsung Focus 2 on Windows Phone 7.5. So let's get to it. All right, and here's the box, and it comes in white, and we're going to take a look at the specs. As mentioned, it has LTE. The original Samsung Focus did not have LTE. Uh, right now, you'll be hard-pressed to find uh, an area with AT&T LTE. They're building out the network, but fortunately, they have that really fast HSPA Plus fallback speed, so you're always getting pretty fast download and upload speeds uh, with this phone. Uh, the, the processor is a single core Snapdragon 1.4 gigahertz, so technically 400 megahertz faster than what you get on the original Focus. This is actually the same chip used in the Lumia 900, so performance should be quite good. We've got 512 megabytes of RAM, 8 gigs of storage space, 4-inch Super AMOLED screen, it's WVGA resolution, so the pixel density will be better than the Lumia 900 because it's a smaller screen, but it's still not going to be sharp and as crisp as, as some of those higher Android phones out there uh, like the One X. So let's open up the box and see what we have. And of course, texting and driving can wait. We know that. Don't text and drive. And see if we have any interesting accessories. White headphones to match the white color of the phone. And a nice little tiny Samsung charger. Let's move them out of the way and take a look at the new Focus 2. Feels very plasticky in hand, just like the original, but that's okay. Plastic texture kind of usually means that it's going to be a lightweight phone. In fact, this actually feels a little heavier than the original Focus. Curious to how it looks next to the original Focus. It looks sharper and cleaner, definitely, definitely more grown up there, about the same size. They have the same size screen. Uh, some might argue that the black looks a little bit more slick, but white is, is the, the color of the day here in the, in the smartphone industry. We've got that silver strip going all the way around, kind of a design cue from the original. But interestingly, it appears on the back, which is a nice touch. It really is. Uh, both have five megapixel cameras, and of course, Windows Phone has that dedicated camera key, which makes it quick and easy to take pictures. Okay, let's start it up. We'll do a quick web browsing tour to see if there's much of a difference between uh, going from one gigahertz to 1.4 gigahertz on a similar kind of configuration. All right, and here we go. We've got both devices turned on, the Focus 2 and the Focus on the right. Both are clean of any user data. They're both on the same Wi-Fi network, and they're actually running different software versions. We've got Windows Phone Mango on the Focus 2, Windows Phone 7.5, and we're running with Windows Phone 7, not 7.5 on the Focus. The reason we're doing that in this test is because we want to see how far the hardware and the software has come since about two years ago when the original Focus was released. We'll do future videos where we compare uh, the Focus 2 with another Mango device like the Lumia 900. So keep an eye out for that. So let's kind of move around in the operating system and, and take a look at the hardware. Uh, the screens look pretty much identical. That's because they are identical. Both Super, super AMOLED panels, WVGA resolution, uh, and things just pretty much look the same. I can't tell a difference between the contrast. They're both saw, set on default brightness right now. Let's go over to Internet Explorer and launch that. Okay, so definitely the Focus 2 was faster in getting uh, to the web, so we're going to go to pocketnow.com. Okay, the address is in. Let's press the button. We'll probably be asked to choose between the mobile site or the desktop site. We're just going to go full throttle here on the desktop site to see which of these guys goes faster. Ready, set, go. Okay, it looks like the Focus 2 is getting there first. And the Focus is uh, a little far behind. We're going to let it load and then we're going to move around the page and see if there's a, a perceptible difference in the performance because we've got the faster processor on the Focus 2. So while the Focus is, is, is running, let's kind of pinch around 
Windows Phone always is very buttery smooth in the browser, especially with the latest and greatest uh, single core Snapdragon. Very smooth, flip down the page, it's quite good. We got a little bl blank out there for a sec. Zooming and panning is good. Let's go to another page. A little delay there. A lot smoother here on the Focus 2. Naturally, and that's the way it should be two years later. And let's see if we can get this to kick out the next page. And they're off. It's actually pretty amazing how much of a delay there is between these two devices. Uh, definitely much better performance on the Focus 2 which we want to see uh, with a faster processor and the latest software. So we've got a lot more coming up on the Samsung Focus 2. It's an LTE phone and it's pretty cheap too at only $50. Uh, pretty amazing how inexpensive the latest and greatest smartphones have become. First impressions, it feels very slippery. Uh, very slippery in hand. It also feels very kind of, or looks very shiny, which is nice. And it's white, so it's not going to pick up fingerprints too much, uh, but definitely a plasticky phone, which also means it's a light phone. It's uh, quite thin, but definitely doesn't feel as thin as the original Focus. Uh, so if you're upgrading, don't expect this to be a thinner phone. If anything, it's a little bit thicker. But it's got that lovely LTE radio in there if you're lucky enough to have LTE in your area. Otherwise, you've got the HSPA Plus fallback. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to know something specific, about the Samsung Focus 2, drop a comment and we'll do our best to uh, answer your question. That's it for now.